so that's the cockpit installed factory instrument cluster and we provide small push button like that so it can be switched between the factory interface and so currently um, using the Miracast dongle sold on Amazon or eBay or Aliexpress my iPhone is wirelessly um, mirroring on the instrument cluster so basically you can whatever you like to uh, what is it oh it's an ad anyway I just wanted to place something and if we go to the full screen YouTube video is played in full screen as well maybe you are seeing flickering because this video is currently taken at 60 frames so that's why you are seeing flickering but in naked human eyes there is no flickering and many people would see would use the cockpit, cockpit function for this purpose I guess so let me just uh, rotate my iPhone and start yeah anyway it works like this and the uh, switching is like I showed you button and oh yes there is a one drawback that you are by adding arc snob cockpit into your system I don't know if you can see um, okay do you see the white bright dot on the original display information these are noises uh, generated by the our add-on module well it's not like not like a real noise but uh, it's like a, a latency between the relayed signal so this we cannot do anything because that's the consequence of uh, injecting something in the middle of the display lines so uh, buyers be warned that if you don't want to um, any decoloration well it's not decoloration but uh, more like a slight color um, uh, dots uh, brighter than user but anyway um, the, the one drawback of adding RS Nav cockpit is the usually the factory graphics it's fine with the text but the factory graphics will have some brighter dots but other than that you will have HDMI now which is a wireless because I added the um, Mercus dongle sold on Amazon or eBay or Aliexpress and at the same time uh, you have two additional analog camera input that you can use for front camera as well as rear camera and uh, in my case eventually I will hook up my 360 surround view camera system to this device so I hope this uh, help you to know better about the RSNAP copy interface and I hope you guys um, have a lot of interest in it practically this is um, my um, I don't know what to say but this is my lifetime um, um, it's not a lifetime goal but um, it feels like it felt like a 
lifetime goal for me because due to recent uh, hardship that our snob won um, I almost ex uh, exhausted all my savings developing these new product so if these fails uh, well I don't know my project of our snob should stop there oh this is by the way the the Miracast connection between the iPhone and my uh, my cockpit has been disconnected because my iPhone's Wi-Fi is connected to the house Wi-Fi. But other than that, uh, it works fine. And oh, another disclaimer for the HDMI um, thing, uh, you're going to need a very slim. Um, 90 degree angle uh, converter uh, because there's not much space behind uh, the dashboard insert so it's kind of annoying to plug in the dongle st uh, stand up so you need to use the those 90 degree angle and uh, and what else? Oh, and uh, for the HDMI connections, those connections are using like uh, several gigabps uh, data on the line. So what I mean by this, if you are just going to use this kind of um, USB-C to HDMI converter like this one, um, you must be careful that USB-C part never get ever shaken otherwise the connection will be lost so I don't practically recommend uh, use the cockpit in this way but like uh, I think it would be better for you to use the cockpit's HDMI interface to connect those the screen mirroring dongles like what I'm doing here I hope that explained pretty much everything and I'll be uh, uploading uh, the cockpit installation video uh, sooner or later so but anyway it's I mean it's kind of difficult to get the uh, the dashboard insert out of the car rather than the installing the device into the your existing uh, instrument cluster anyway thank you for watching bye Thank <laughs> you.